Hello, hello guys, this is Char. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for returning. Now y'all, this is about love and marriage DC, y'all. Can you believe that? Yes, love and marriage DC heating up, finally. Because it was kind of slow moving, slow pace, slow pace. And now it's moving up. Um, but kind of sort of for the wrong reasons, guys. But this is why these reality shows become popular and fan favorites because of the mess. And apparently, Miss Winter and Miss Ashley is continuously bringing the mess to the point where Arena and Jamie, her husband, the Tylers, felt they needed to do a YouTube live to dispel the lies or the rumors or what's a better word to describe it? To prove these bees lying, basically. They had the receipts. They pulled out the receipts. They pulled out the audio. It was obviously, and you can see that the video was not premeditated pre-made like pre-thought of like they you know put time and effort into it before they got on live or anything like that it was really really uncut unedited you know they was trying to get their um trying to get their uh tech right they was trying to get the camera right the phones right you know trying to pull up the information find the receipts all that so it, it wasn't anything that was pre thought of or pre-rehearsed or anything like that it was really really raw um with Irena and her husband Jamie and the gist of it is that they're saying winter is back lying again you know apparently winter is known for lying and being messy because Jamie said that she's back up to her old tricks of lying and making up stories trying to make Irena and Jamie look bad you know something about um Irena and some man supposedly having relations or having an affair um uh, apparently it was two years ago uh, Winner brought this to the forefront, brought this to their attention. Uh, Jamie spoke of it and spoke about it. And um, they deaded it, you know. They dealt with it as a couple and they deaded it. And for whatever reasons why, they saying Winner is bringing it back up. And they're pulling some guy that's, um, you know... A native out there in um, the D.C. area, DMV area, pulling him into it. He is uh, some type of city official that went and turned to a pastor or vice versa. <laughs> but um, the man is uh, getting ready to get married in a few and he don't want to be a part of the mess. And I don't have the audio here because it was a quite a bit of a long video. It was 45 minutes and I didn't play the video here but check out Jaina Jaina uh Irena and Jamie's YouTube page they have a YouTube page now and I think that's what it's called Jamie and Irena Taylor so check their video uh YouTube page out you can check the video out but this man sound discouraged he sounded upset and he truly sounded like he didn't have anything to do with nothing and that he truly, truly did not want to be a part of the mess. Matter of fact, he actually verbally said it. He said he does not want to be a part of the mess. Right? And, um, yeah, they spoke with him. Apparently, and I'm just trying to piece it together just because it was kind of hard to hear the audio at certain points or whatever. But what I'm getting is that the guy dated Irena and Jamie's daughter, Brittany, at one point and um something about uh can't what's the girl's name it's the lady that is um helping joy's husband clifton with his uh marketing and pr for his beard oil i can't think of that lady's name but her i think her name is carmen if i'm not mistaken Carmen had some type of event and everybody was there. Locals as well as people from the show. This guy was there. Um, 
went or saw him and winter went up to him or or the guy came up to winter and this that and the third and while everybody was there jamie was there Irena was there ashley was there i don't know if ashley's husband um I don't know if Ashley's husband was there, but Ashley was there. And instead of Winter going up to directly to Irena and telling Irena what this man allegedly said, supposedly allegedly, she took it takes it upon herself to text Jamie, Irena's husband. She texts him and basically tells him what this guy said, which is a pack of lies basically this guy didn't say anything to the effect of he was with Irena in a sexual manner or yada 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 but yet that is what winter text jamie now that sounds crazy in itself because if they're all there in person right in front of you why the hell would you text the man you know what i'm saying like why would you text him And he's there at the party or the event or whatever it is with you. That sounds shady in itself. Okay. So when he obviously looks at his text or the email or whatever it was, he goes over to her like, what are you talking about? And she was like, nothing. And he asked her, what did the guy say? And she was like, you know, and he was like, point him out so I can address it with the guy since he's here. And she talking about, I don't want to get involved. Well, then why did you text him? Or why did you email him? Why did you tell him about what was going on? You know what? See, that is messy. And it's shady. And it seems like she's up to no good. It does. It really, truly does. And for the life of me, I do not know why. Well, I guess because (sighs) Ashley feels like Irena is taking Joy and Clifton's side. And are hanging out with them more. And their friendship is suffering for for it. So in true mean girl fashion. But now mean woman fashion. Because the lady about what? 30? 48? 38? You know it ain't like they teenagers. So because you feel like she's taking someone's side or whatever. You about to start going around spewing lies on the woman? Like that's so childish in high school. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is really childish in high school. There's just nothing else other to say about it. And this photo here, you know, Ashley is trying to act like she's so cool with winter. Buddy, 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 buddy. First of all, I don't think Irena even cares because Irena and Ashley at one point couldn't stay in the ground. Winter walked on. And had no intention on really being that cool and that close with her. So I believe that sentiment still stands for Irena. So I don't think she cares that uh, Ashley is really, really cool with her. So you're not making her jealous. And then I saw this. This was bopping around on IG. Oh, did I see it on the Love and Marriage DC uh, YouTube Um, Instagram page. I'm not sure where I saw it, but I caught this and screenshotted it. Boss up? Huh? (laughs) What? Boss up? Give me two bosses then. (laughs) Find me out two bosses for I could boss up because I'm not getting no boss tips, no business tips from Ashley. What the do Ashley do? Ashley is a stay at home mom who husband brings in the dough and takes care of the family nicely i guess you know i don't know their finances but they look like they live okay ashley you at home you just got on this show what do you do how are you bossing up and do not bring up that damn dumbass book that ain't nobody buying okay do this or do that shit whatever girl bye find me two bosses and then we can talk And I know you ain't trying to call Winter a boss. Winter can't even find a decent man. How in the hell is she a boss? Her ex-fiance was living in the basement of his 93-year-old mama. The man was already 60 (laughs) himself. 
She didn't know he was embezzling money from the company, had been got fired, didn't have no money, didn't have no job, living in the basement, and she about to marry him. Girl, you can't run your personal life. I know you can't run a business, girl. Bye. Both of you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night to both of you as it relates to this boss-ish. Because you are stay-at-home at mom and decided to pay a publisher to put you a book together. You a boss now? How is the book doing? What's the sales? Have you done it to, again? What other businesses have you grown? You're not a... And I hate to keep bringing up her name on stuff, but you're not a Melanie Cherie Rogers. You're not a Shanita Foster. You're not even a damn Stormy Steel. <laughs> I mean, she might not pay her bills. You know, she might collect all the money from her sales and this and that and not pay her bills. Just go buy-ish. But for you to start a business from the ground with no... uh not with no money but when you start a business from the ground up and 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 work it to the point where it's making millions and millions of dollars or hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars that's a heavy feat and everybody can't do that so you have to give her uh, accolades for that if nothing else right now she might not be um she might be a person that don't pay her bills but she did start a business from the ground up and, and grow it to a multi-million dollar company. We can't take that away from Stormy. You know what I mean? And there's so many other people. Uh, that girl, Kiana Washington or uh, Watson, Kiana Watson, who's out there in Atlanta. She has over multi-million dollars in real estate sales. I mean, it's so many women who are bosses that they could have thought of or talked about or put on their flyer outside of them two nitwits nincompoops <laughs> you guys drop down in the comments tell me what you think about winter and ashley coming from for Irena hard making up stories making up lies and please check out their youtube page jamie and Irena tyler as i stated i didn't put the uh audio on my channel on this video because it was just kind of distorted a little bit because like i said this was off the cuff this wasn't planned they heard this mess and was like you know what let's let's go live and, and try to dispel these rumors Cause they was trying to get their stuff together and all that mess. It, it was not playing. So check that video out on their YouTube page. And then drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Listen to their um, YouTube page first in the audio. And how this man sounded disparaged. Like he was like he don't want to be a part of it. He about to get married soon. You know this could be messing up his whole life. With this rumor of him cheating. On his fiance with Irena, which is a lie. He said he didn't even know Irena personally like that. He dated the daughter, Brittany. Oh my God. Drop down in comments, like the video, subscribe, hit your notifications, and until next time, bye.